Let's start with the coil. Now, take the magnet wire, completely remove the varnish on the first 5 cm with sandpaper. Hold the shaft against the slots. Wrap the magnet wire around the tube, one turn on each side of the shaft. Make at least 20 turns. Cut off the magnet wire and slip the coil off the tube. Use the loose ends of the magnet wire to wrap the strands together and to tie the coil to the shaft. Sand the varnish off the other end of the magnet wire. Wrap the ends around the shaft. Make sure there is good electrical contact between the wire and the shaft. Wrap some wire around the taped part of the shaft to make it difficult for the shaft to turn in the coil. Make sure the shaft is straight and the coil is symmetric around the shaft. Check the assembly for electrical continuity, meaning zero resistance between the two ends of the shaft. To make the propeller, draw a cardboard template, copy it onto a piece of thick plastic, then cut it out. Reinforce the center with electrical tape. Punch a hole for the shaft with a thumbtack, then enlarge it using a skewer stick. Cut a piece of insulation on an angle, drive it into the hole, then trim the end. Pull the blades to make them perpendicular to the shaft, then twist them into shape. If necessary, use a hair dryer to soften the plastic. Install the magnet and the batteries. Check if the meter reads 3 volts. If not, make sure the batteries follow the plus and minus signs and make good contacts with the aluminum foil. Install the posts and connect the battery wires. Install the propeller on the shaft, then slide the assembly into the post's loops. To build a boat, just add a deck made of a piece of foam measuring about 14 cm wide by 20 cm long. Cut it to the shape of boat you like, then install the motor on the deck.